Picture this. It's 1961, the heart of the Cold War. The United States and the Soviet Union are locked in a nuclear standoff, each side trying to outdo the other in a terrifying display of military might. Then on October 30th, a monstrous sun rises over the Novaya Zemlya archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. This wasn't the sun, but the largest nuclear weapon ever detonated, a Soviet behemoth, the Tsar Bomber. It was a 50 megaton blast, dwarfing anything the United States had ever tested. The mushroom cloud stretched 40 miles high, visible for hundreds of miles. The shockwave circled the globe three times, and the heat from the explosion could cause third-degree burns over 60 miles away. Today we're going to delve into the lasting impact of this event. The story of the Tsar Bomber is a stark reminder of the destructive power we hold in our hands. Imagine being an eyewitness to this event. Hundreds of miles away, you'd see a blinding flash brighter than the sun itself. Then, a colossal fireball would rise on the horizon, morphing into a mushroom cloud that seemed to touch the edge of space. The shockwave, traveling at supersonic speeds, would have shattered windows and knocked people off their feet. The sound alone, a deafening roar that echoed for hundreds of miles, would be etched into the memories of those who heard it. It was a stark and terrifying demonstration of the destructive power humanity now possessed. The Tsar Bomber had become a symbol of our potential to destroy ourselves. The detonation of the Tsar Bomber wasn't just a scientific experiment, it was a political earthquake. It sent shockwaves through the halls of power in both the East and the West, drastically altering the dynamics of the Cold War. The the United States was caught off guard by the sheer magnitude of the blast. President Kennedy and his administration found themselves in a difficult position. They had to appear resolute while avoiding a full-blown nuclear war. The Kremlin, led by Khrushchev, claimed the test was a demonstration of Soviet strength. They argued it was a deterrent, ensuring peace through mutually assured destruction. Internationally, the reaction was a mixture of condemnation and fear. Many nations expressed deep concern over the test's implications. Protests erupted worldwide, demanding an end to nuclear testing. Diplomatic efforts intensified, aiming to control the nuclear arms race. This led to the signing of the Partial Test Ban Treaty in 1963, a significant step towards nuclear disarmament. While the political fallout from the Tsar Bomber was immediate and far-reaching, the environmental and humanitarian consequences were even more alarming. The explosion released massive radioactive material into the atmosphere. The Soviet Union took precautions like choosing a remote test site and delaying the detonation for better weather conditions, but the bomb's size made containment impossible. Monitoring stations worldwide detected radiation spikes. Radioactive isotopes were found in soil, water and food supplies far from the blast site. Long-term health effects included increased cancer risk and genetic mutations. Chapter 4. Political Responses The Tsar Bomber detonation sent ripples of anxiety through the international community, forcing a reassessment of the global balance of power. Western nations, particularly those in the NATO alliance, were deeply unsettled by the demonstration of Soviet capabilities. The United States, already engaged in a heated arms race with the Soviet Union, felt an even greater sense of urgency to maintain its nuclear superiority. Military spending increased and research and development into new and more powerful weapon systems accelerated. The Tsar Bomba served as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of a nuclear conflict. It fueled anxieties about the possibility of accidental war or miscalculation pushing the world closer to the brink. The need for clear communication and de-escalation strategies between the superpowers became paramount. The event also had a profound impact on the non-aligned movement, a group of countries that sought to remain neutral in the Cold War. Many of these nations, often newly independent and wary of being drawn into a conflict between the superpowers, saw the Tsar Bomba as a threat to their sovereignty and security. Some within the non-aligned movement argued for complete nuclear disarmament, while others sought to develop their own nuclear deterrents as a way to safeguard their independence. The Tsar Bomba, while a product of the Cold War rivalry, had far-reaching consequences that extended beyond the two main protagonists. 
Chapter 5 Arms Control and Disarmament Efforts The blinding flash of the Tsar Bomber illuminated the urgent need for international arms control. The sheer destructive power shocked the world, pushing nuclear disarmament to the forefront. Peace movements found renewed purpose and urgency. Negotiations between the US and the Soviet Union gained new momentum. In 1963, the superpowers signed the Partial Test Ban Treaty. The treaty marked a shift from confrontation to cautious cooperation. The United Nations played a crucial role in facilitating dialogue and promoting disarmament. Over the years, numerous treaties have been signed, each aiming to reduce the nuclear threat. Today, the legacy of the Tsar Bomba continues to inspire global efforts towards a nuclear-free world. International leaders continue to meet, striving for a safer, more secure future. Efforts towards disarmament have been recognized globally, including with prestigious awards like the Nobel Peace Prize. Educational programs around the world aim to raise awareness about the importance of nuclear disarmament. Several regions have declared themselves nuclear-free zones, furthering the cause of global peace. The journey towards complete disarmament is ongoing, driven by the collective will of humanity. Chapter 6 public and media reaction. The detonation of the Tsar Bomber wasn't just a geopolitical event, it was a global media sensation. News of the test spread like wildfire, dominating headlines and airwaves around the world. Images of the colossal mushroom cloud, a chilling symbol of humanity's destructive potential, were seared into the collective consciousness. Newspapers ran countless articles and editorials, dissecting the technical aspects of the bomb and speculating about Soviet intentions. The event became a constant topic of conversation, discussed in homes, workplaces, and coffee shops around the world. For many, the Tsar Bomba was a terrifying wake-up call, a stark reminder of the fragility of peace in the nuclear age. The Cold War, often an abstract ideological struggle, suddenly felt very real and very close to home. The test also fueled anxieties about the future could such a powerful weapon ever be controlled? These questions weighed heavily on the minds of people around the world, contributing to a pervasive sense of unease and uncertainty. It transcended national borders and ideological divides, reminding everyone that the fate of humanity was intertwined. Outro a legacy of fear, a hope for peace. The Tsar Bomba serves as a chilling reminder of the destructive power we wield a power that could annihilate our planet many times over. It's a stark testament to the dangers of unchecked technological advancement and the ever-present threat of nuclear war. The event forced the world to confront the consequences of its actions, leading to a push for arms control and a heightened awareness of our shared vulnerability. The Tsar Bomba, in its terrifying splendor, became a symbol of both our capacity for destruction and our potential for peace. It ignited a global conversation about nuclear weapons, a conversation that continues to this day. It's a reminder that we must remain vigilant in our pursuit of peace and that the only way to truly guarantee our safety is to rid the world of these devastating weapons once and for all.